Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your Gaming Monk for the evening. This is day four of the RPG A Day Challenge, and the word today is share. This is going to be a tricky one to go with as opposed to the last few, so I think instead of focusing on a specific game, I want to focus on house rules and how the internet has kind of changed how house rules are looked at. I do find it funny that... TSR had this attitude during the dark end of the AD&D era, where house rules were frowned upon and looked on as introducing custom rules into a tournament chess match. An obviously fallacious assertion, but that's the assertion that was made. Personally, I think that things like forums and the, and the like have done a very commendable job when it comes to expanding the rules beyond what the creators intend. And furthermore, this is also the reason why I find myself more engaged with house rules for, say, D&D 5th edition than I do with the standard format. There's a lot of time the standard format is just that, standard. Whereas with the fan stuff that people make, they will take it in directions that the creators could not have possibly have thought of. I think one site that is that is relished in this over the last few or the last several years has been the forums for Giant in the Playground. In fact, I kind of cited them when I talked about a recreate D and D contest that ended up creating the Legend system, even if inadvertently. There's been that. There's been these stories like the Legend of Old Man Henderson. There's been the endless entertainment that we get out of 1D4chan and some of the custom games out of that. And I can go on about this sort of sh about this sort of sharing. I think this is also the reason that whenever I go onto the forums for any sort of place, I always look for what interesting house rules other people are coming up with. Sometimes it can just be a few notes here and there. Other times they have a full, reasonably produced PDF that goes into all the details that they um, are using. Occasionally, you've got the real crazies who will just say, blow the whole thing up and start from scratch. Those are the ones that I always find the most interesting. I know that I've lambasted the amount of house drilling I had to do with the Palladium system, but the reason I didn't care for that kind of thing is because... House ruling should be a spice, a means of customizing a dish to your liking. It should not be the dish itself. My experience with most of Palladium's work, and Rifts in particular, is that I had to house rule things in order to make sense of mechanics that just seemed nonsensical, or things that were just outright broken and clearly needed an edit. Although, if you recall several months ago when I... When I um, shared the story of Bill Coffin, you know, that editing is not exactly Simbeta's strong suit. Especially since he's still using an editing style that nobody was using in the early 2000s, and is probably still using that editing style today. I don't know if he is or not, but it wouldn't surprise me. The p Furthermore, there's things like Rule Zero, which a couple weeks ago I had to lambast some people saying that Rule Zero was elitist, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. And there was the fact that Gygax house-ruled his own game. He outright, sta he outright stated that the rules should not be taken as gospel. This is also the reason why I don't care for rules lawyers and never will. If there's anything to take home from this, it's that you should always... Keep an eye out on the on the custom rules that people are putting out, especially since some of them, yeah, you're gonna have to pay for others, not so much. And I th if I ever get the chance, I want to dedicate a significant amount of time to Naruto D20, even if it's using a setup that I don't particularly use anymore. Just the amount of work that went into the creation of that game is something that I think deserves attention. And with the advent of the internet and the advent of the accessibility of the modern day internet, there is no excuse to not try and expand that horizon. That's been my mantra since I started this channel of expanding horizons, and when it comes to sharing custom rules, that's no exception. 
I've thought about doing videos on on certain house rules, but I can't quite figure out how I do it with my current format. But it is something that's on the back of my mind. Until next time, which means tomorrow, stay frosty, everybody.